in today's video, I'm going to give you three really important tips on how to finally manifest like a pro, like a savage. Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I hope you are all choosing to be the version of yourselves that has exactly what you want. The happiest, full of joy, and true fulfillment version of self. And I'll just kim that down. You know, the version of you that has what you want. I hope you're choosing that. Yes? I'm going to skim through things, yes, if you would like to work with me, whether that be through one-on-one -on -one coaching or group setting type coaching or a weekly judge and where to find me, please check out that Dropbox below. All of the info is there, where to find me, how to connect with me. And if you're interested in hanging out with me on the outside of the content of manifestation, please Come on over and join me at Kimberly's Other Life, which is literally everything else about me except manifestation, even though sometimes I actually do talk about manifestation over there because I'm consumed with it. It's always on my mind because I like getting what I want. Anyways, let's jump right in. How to manifest like a pro. I think everyone wants to manifest like a pro, right? Well, one little secret thing is, is you already are a pro. You've been doing it your entire existence, okay? But I know we don't always feel that way. We don't always really feel like we're pros at it, especially when we find ourselves not having what it is we're manifesting. We don't feel like pros in those moments, do we? No. Well, I'm going to give you three tips on how to get you there. First, my first tip is a willingness. Willingness to understand who you really are. Yes, this is important. I do talk about it a lot, but it's important. Understanding the who you are outside of this 3D human physical meat sack. You are pure unadulterated consciousness. Now, if you're new to manifestation, that probably sounds a little woo-woo, a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and I understand. Don't give up on this yet just because that sounds crazy. I know it does. I know that can be like a tough pill to swallow, but you are. You're just consciousness. You're not who you think you are. Like, I'm not really Kimberly. I'm really just consciousness. But I am essentially God in human form. And so are you. God is having his, her, its own experiences through us. Now, it's quite normal to think that's insane. And that might even feel really restrictive to you because most of us have grown up with some semblance of a religious background, right? We are all have been taught different things, ideas about God, so for some of us, that can be a shocker. It can feel, you know, blasphemous. When I started this journey, I thought that too. It, it was odd for me. So you know what? I just didn't put too much focus on it. But the reason why I'm bringing it up now is because I know it's also the game changer for me. Knowing who I really am, finally accepting it. And listen, it's the repetition. It's the reminding yourself of who you are, where it's going to start to feel a little more natural. That knowledge of who I really am has really served me in the moments that I was doubting my own experience, doubting my manifestations, doubting my ability to manifest. That little nugget is something that I have fallen back on many a time on this journey, and it's why I think it's a super important little piece so again, it's okay if that's really hard for you to accept. I get it, but it is what it is. 
you are it. Now, listen, if you're someone that doesn't believe in God, you just believe that there is like an all knowing higher power source, energy, universe, that's okay too. So again, for those of you who only believe in a universe, well, then you're the universe. Okay. Again, it's the reminding yourself of that, that will allow it to feel a little less crazy and a little more natural and normal. Okay. Now spinning off on that, but we're still, we're still talking about the number one. A man's birthright is to be Jesus. He is born to save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter one, verse 21. But the salvation of a man is not by water only, but by water and blood. So having the knowledge, having this little piece of knowledge, which is you knowing who you really are, which is God in human form, and just the knowledge itself about manifestation is great, but we got to use it. We got to actually use it. And that is going to stem into the number two. Actively using your imagination. That is the powerhouse. Your imagination is your magic wand. Your imagination is your God connection. It's where the manifestation stuff is happening. The imagination. Now, I'm sure you've noticed, or at least at one time in your life, you've been told to, you know, get out of your imagination. Come back to reality. Come back down to earth. Right? Stop daydreaming. Well, guess what? All that daydreaming came naturally to you, to all of you, any of you watching this. Think about it. No one had to teach you how to use your imagination. You just started using it, right? As, let's see, as far back as you can remember, right? Now, most of us don't remember every single thing about being a toddler. I get that. But your earliest memories, you were already playing with toys and games and things like that, right? Even while you're reading books, your mind allows you to get into the book because of your imagination. So we are all naturally trained to just start using that. Well, why do you think that is? Huh? Why does no one have to be taught how to use their imagination? It's because it's the little God connection or universe connection. It's the connection to our consciousness. It's amazing. It really is. However, I don't want to I don't want to imply that that is your only connection to consciousness because, you know, obviously when we are into meditation, we are kind of closing off thought and stepping into just I want to say like a vast emptiness. That feels much more than just a vast emptiness. But I don't, I, again, I don't want you to feel like you mustn't imagine, you know, your God connection. Just, it's just knowing. It's the knowing. Okay. So my number two is actively using it. You know, it's one thing to know you can manifest versus doing. And by doing, that means with our number one of willingness, willing to know who you are and accept who you are. It's also, because you're going to see how these all streamline together. Your willingness is to also begin to see that your imagination is your safe place. Because we need to break a habit, a habit of being attached to our 3D. Our 3D world is not our true reality. Our true reality is our imagination. Again, if you're new, I know this can be confusing, but if you want to manifest like a pro, like a badass who isn't losing their shit when they don't see what they want in the 3D, this is the way to do it. You're allowing yourself to start trusting in your imagination. Most of us find manifestation with a mindset that daydreaming isn't real 
Because the next logical question I usually get when discussing our imagination is, well, I used to daydream all the time and those things didn't manifest. We were taught that our imagination wasn't real, that what we daydream or wish doesn't come true, right? It's just fun. It's play things. It's playtime. It's for kids. We're all taught that. So that comes through our conditioning, another belief from conditioning. But your imagination is going to be your go-to. So for example, if you're manifesting money, you are breaking the habit of all the conditioning around the subject of money. You're, you're breaking the habit of believing the 3D reality more than what's in your imagination. So again, you're going to see how these three tips kind of streamline together. It's that willingness to know who you are and at least get into the repetition of reminding yourself of it. Utilizing your imagination, putting your faith in your imagination. You're going to start seeing evidence of it if you will give this a true willing try. Listen, the, the answer to everything in manifestation, honestly, is really it's repetition and decision. The decision through conviction to be any version of yourself that we access through our imagination. It's that decision to be that self, that new self that has whatever it is that you personally are manifesting. That willingness is full of possibilities, life-changing possibilities. And the more we step back from believing the 3D more than our imagination, the sooner the 3D can change around you. And by change, I mean the more often you're stepping into the state of consciousness, the state of consciousness or the version of self that has your desire, the more often you're doing that, the more natural that state becomes. And that in itself is what's going to make things change out here quicker. And it's also going to help build that faith, that trust in your imagination and your faith and trust in knowing who you really are. God in human form, universe in human form pure, unadulterated consciousness. And I do, I want to give you just a little nugget here. When you hear, I'm assuming all manifestation coaches, or at least me, <laughs> when you hear me say, you're deciding to be that new version of yourself, you're, uh, you're deciding to embody the state of the wish fulfilled. When you're making that decision, please know that as you are allowing your imagination to get you into the, the immersion of that new version of yourself, it's not the action of you embodying the state that really is the power behind the manifestation. You see, the point of the decision, the point of embodiment, the point of choosing to be that self is to get you more familiar with that new self, to get you to feel more natural as the version of self that has the desire. It's all about making it more comfortable, believable, trustworthy to you because you as this current version of yourself feels normal and natural as this limited version because of all the conditioning you've received since the moment you got on this planet. You see, this is all about making things easier for you. That's why we make this decision. Every day, we make the decision to be new self. If you're new, new self just means the version of you that has your shit, that has what you're manifesting. 
or sometimes referred to as the wish fulfilled or the state of consciousness, the state of the wish fulfilled. They all mean the same thing. But it's for you. It's not to make things hard. It's not to overwhelm you. It's to allow you to feel like that new badass self that you are. But because it feels so foreign to you, based off of who you started this journey as, it doesn't feel believable. And sometimes it feels like work, but when it feels like work, you're forcing yourself to do techniques that don't resonate with you. That's some of the problem. When you really want to manifest like a savage, like a badass, whatever, whatever inspires you to listen to me. When you really got that intention behind you that you want to manifest like a pro, you want to be that person that doesn't sweat the 3D reality, then choosing to be that new self, that version of yourself that has a desire, that is going to be a thing. That is going to be comfortable to you. It is going to be something you look forward to. So you want to choose a technique that feels good to you. Choose a technique that you're not going to dread doing. And this is obviously a freebie tip. This wasn't even a part of my top three. Some of you love to affirm, robotically affirm. And if you enjoy doing that, then that's, that's the one you want to go to. But if you don't enjoy robotic affirming, find the technique that works for you. Because you want this to be fun, enjoyable, easy. Which is going to step in to my number three. Commitment. Commitment. And I'm going to tell you, you know, outside of the word discipline, Commitment is not something we necessarily hear in this community or, or around manifestation, but I'm going to keep it real with you. If you're here watching content because you want to manifest, I'm just going to use any example, doesn't matter. You want to manifest your specific person to be in a relationship with you. There's some commitment involved here. There's some commitment. Because I... I teach, I make videos from the place of getting you your shit, like actually getting it, successfully getting it and keeping it, okay? So I'm not the person you're going to want to watch just to, you know, a means to an end and you're, you're going to move on with life because that's, that's not how I roll over here. This is commitment. And that might sound a little daunting or overwhelming, but I don't mean it to me. What I mean by it is, you are now awake to the knowledge that you can be anybody you want to be. Any version of yourself. You can have anything you want, including any specific person you want. You can have any experience you want. And this is commitment, meaning, as I shared in number one and number two, is you are committing to be this new you. This new self. I don't necessarily mean you got to go fake life. Okay. You don't have to wear a false wedding ring. You don't have to set, you know, an extra plate at the table or leave room in the closet for your recipe. Unless you enjoy doing those things. Then go do what you want. But that's not what I mean by the commitment. I mean, I meant it when I said every day. Every day you're starting this journey and you are deciding to be your new self because this is more than just a means to an end. You know, when it comes to manifesting a specific person, if you think you're going to do some techniques and bring that person in and then you're all done, you're not going to keep your manifestation. It won't be long before you're back wanting to re-manifest your specific person. It's a commitment to the detachment of the 3D. It's a commitment to really decide to be a new version of yourself. It's a commitment to not give up, to not give up on you. It's a sin to not get your desires. It's a sin to not allow yourself to have your desires. Did you know that? Did you realize that's, that's the definition of sin? You have the power and the knowledge right now of the word of God and how it was meant to be delivered to us, not 
through the rules and restrictions of religious beliefs and all, all the different religions. That's not what was meant for us. It was all in regards to our mind. But this takes commitment. This video is tips to manifest like a pro. Okay? So that, that, that little commitment is, is a real thing. But if you're just someone coming in being sloppy, and I'm sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to word it like that. If you're coming in being sloppy and thinking you're going to do, a, again, a couple techniques and uh, get your SP and then you're all done with manifesting. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's not going to be a thing. It's not. I, I don't mean you can't manifest your specific person. I mean, that's not going to serve you. That attitude won't serve you, and it certainly won't help you keep that manifestation. This is a commitment to change your mind. It's a commitment to break the habits of all the damn conditioning that we have picked up along our life journey. The, the way we've all been taught incorrectly, what our mind is doing, what this world around us really is. It's a commitment to allow yourself to put a little faith and trust, a little belief in this, in this power, in this knowledge, because it is. But to manifest like a pro and have quick success and easily be able to maintain those manifestations, it does take commitment. It takes the willingness. It takes everything I have already discussed in this video. And I don't want you to think that I'm saying this from a place of limiting you. If anything, I'm trying to help you. This is what works. This is what gets you what you want. But it does take commitment. And also, I don't mean from the place of perfection. It's not about being perfect. You are still having a human experience. But if you are someone who just utterly refuses to look at your 3D a little differently, to understand why your specific person is showing up the way he or she is. If we have an unwillingness to commit ourselves to learning why we manifest, how we're able to manifest, and to actually decide every day that we're going to start actually applying it to our I say every area of our life. I think that that's being a basic bitch, lazy ass. That's keeping it real. You want to manifest like a pro? These, these things that I've discussed in this video will absolutely make you a pro at this. Life changing. Life changing. And it doesn't have to be hard. Now, that's not me saying that you'll never have a bad day or that you'll never have a bad mood or that you might, you know, never emotionally react again. No, you might experience all of those. But if you've got the commitment to return to the decision to be your new self, it's the commitment to not give up when the 3D farts in the wind. If you've got the conviction because of your commitment, your conviction to refuse to accept anything less than what you want. If you've got that, oh my God, you're going to change your life for the better. Oh my God, life-changing, radical change. But these things that I've shared with you today, these are the things that I actually apply, I use, I commit myself. I don't look at this as work. I look at this as this is what's changing my life and making it better. This is how I get to experience the things I want. This is why I don't fear much in my 3D. You know, I'm still human. There's still fearful thoughts that come up in my mind just like everybody else. But it's why I'm able to, you know, if I emotionally react, I can very quickly after the fact reel it back in. 
again, not from perfection and I don't force myself to be perfect. I'm saying th this, this video, these tips, this will change your life. If you're, if you're being serious, if you want to manifest your person and keep them, if you want to manifest money and keep it, if you want to radically heal your body, if you want to radically change your appearance, if you want the career you want and keep it, if you want the grades or getting into the school you want and really, really get to have the experience, if you want to heal or help someone else in your life, all of this will help you. Life-changing. All these tips, and obviously I shared a couple extra things. That's how to manifest like a pro and completely change your life. So on that note, if you made it to the end of this video and you could handle me, I would so appreciate if you would give this video a like so it could please get out there and hit that algorithm, right? We can manifest though. We don't, we don't have to worry about the algorithm, do we? Do we? Really? But I would appreciate that like. And if you're new and you listen to the whole video, I would love for you to subscribe and please let me know you subscribed. YouTube doesn't tell me every single person that subscribes to the channel. I only get notified if you are someone that allows it to be publicly shown. If, if not, if you keep who you're subscribed to a secret, then I don't know you're there. I won't know unless you leave me a comment. And I like to know who I am making friends with because that's what we are over here in my little fellowship of HBICs. We are friends. So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.